You see it left and right. Every single car YouTuber seems to be getting amazing deals at Copart on cars that you can only dream of having. Well, no worries guys. Today I'm gonna to show you step-by-step step how to start buying cars at Copart. Now, buying from Copart really varies from state to state because of the law and legislation in different areas where, you know, the DMV will state who can buy from, you know, a salvage auction or who can own a vehicle with a salvage title directly. And the way you'd figure that out is by going to Copart's website and under the support tab, you'd go to help with licensing. And Copart has this really nice map actually at the very bottom of the page where, you know, let's say you are a resident of Washington. So you click Washington and it'll load up with a page essentially telling you um you know for example so if you're buying for personal use in washington um you know without any type of business license you can buy a boat jet ski snowmobile or any salvage title item but you'll need to go through a broker for all clean title vehicles and we'll talk about brokers a little bit later um you know let's go back to another state let's look at vermont for example and vermont is a little bit more lax on their legislation you know with with all with this, these kind of things and so with uh, Vermont, you know, so if you're buying a vehicle for personal use, you can buy any clean or salvage title, title vehicle without a business license through Copart. So let's say you're from Vermont, for example, and you don't need to use a broker at all, or you know you're from Washington and you wanna buy a jet ski, for example. With that, you can buy directly from Copart. And so what you would do is you would just go ahead and register, you know, and it's the standard registration procedure like for any type of account. And you're gonna get faced with a choice of if you want a premier or a basic account and kind of looking at the difference between the two. Um, with the basic account, there's no initial, you know, sign up fee or anything of that sort. It's completely free to make an account. And you get a buying power of a thousand dollars. And essentially what that means is you can't buy a vehicle or you can't put in a bid for more than a thousand dollars on any vehicle. And the second biggest limiting factor is you can only bid on one vehicle at one time. Um, and then let's say you want to bid on a vehicle, you know, that's going to go for a more than a thousand dollars. And with that, you would have to put in a 10% deposit of the maximum amount, maximum amount that you want to bid. And the example they give here is, you know, if you want to put a $3,500 bid in, you would have to put in a deposit for $350. And these deposits are fully refundable. But the issue with these deposits are that you can't use that money toward, you know, the actual, um, towards the actual vehicle that you just bought for example so let's say you won the vehicle at $3,500 that $350 deposit is completely separate and that's essentially just Copart's way of having an insurance policy in case you don't pay for the vehicle you know after you win the bid now the second type of membership that Copart, Copart offers is a premier membership and the benefits with that are that you can buy you know more than one vehicle at a time you can kind of bid at multiple auctions and you know you really don't have to worry about that limit and the second biggest thing is with your, you know, you don't really have a limit on your buying power. Once you put in an initial deposit that Copart says, which is $400, you can, you know, you'll have any type of buying your buying power that you need to, you know, that you need. So you can put in a hundred thousand dollar bid on, you know, a very expensive motor home or a Lamborghini, for example. And then the second issue with, or the second thing with premium memberships are that they also have a $200 initial registration fee. And obviously that's not refundable. That's the registration fee for having a premium membership. But the thing with that is that's a one-time fee. You know, it's not like a yearly membership or anything of that sort. So if you're looking at buying, you know, vehicles from Copart for the long term and you don't, you know, really want to be worried about any type of issues, you know, regarding your buying power and you don't want to really be worried about, you know, bidding on multiple vehicles at once, the premium membership really is the way to go. But if you're just starting out, the basic membership is, you know, more than enough for most people. So now let's say you're from one of those states or, you know, let's say Washington, for example, where you want to buy a clean title vehicle, but you need a broker. So what you would do is you go to the services tab and Copart really like lays out all the brokers that they are not recommend, but you know, that are allowed to broker for them. And I mean, the featured one, is auto bid master which uh i'm assuming they pay to be up you know on here and i don't know 100 percent, but i'm assuming they do um now i personally don't like using auto bid master just because they are you know just so expensive um but the thing with auto bid master is when you like a lot of times we'll do a google search or something of that sort it'll really pop up with like a lot of the listings from them because i guess they pay a lot for advertising but their fees are just you know insanely high i feel like um you know i think they they want a 400 dollars transaction fee so a 400 dollars fee for every vehicle you buy or 10 percent, whichever is higher and 
you know, personally, that's that's a lot higher. Um, the one that I personally use, and I'm not affiliated with them or, or anything of that sort, it's just the one that I use, is called Advanced Motors, LLC. They're based out of Traverse City, Michigan. Um, now, the thing I like about Advanced Motors is that they're actually a very, very like small brokerage. It's, you know, pretty much like a mom and pop shop. And, um, you know, that, that can really be helpful for a couple of reasons that I'll get into. But then the second thing with Advanced Motors is they have some of the lowest fees. Now, they do have a registration fee no matter what. But uh, what I've done is, uh, you, you know, usually I'll grab a 45 day free trial and they're really flexible, honestly, like a lot of times, you know, they'll not even take my account off of the free trial They'll leave it on there for two months or three months. And, um, you know, it, it, they're really flexible in that sense. And then secondly, I've had, you know, and I, I'm not saying that this is a good idea, but I've had, um, you know, positive results registering with like different people in my family, essentially. Um, and, you know, getting a mul multiple free trials, but uh, obviously, you know, I don't recommend that. And um, so essentially, and the second thing is the registration fee is, you know, on, it's a yearly fee. So you have to pay $100 a year to keep their account. And then the thing I like about them is their transaction fee is 200 bucks, um, you know, and that's a flat fee compared to, you know, a lot of places want a percentage based fee. Um, and when you're gonna when we're gonna talk about co-part fees in a little bit, but when you're talk when you get into you know paying a percentage based fee on an expensive vehicle, for example, you know having a flat fee, you're gonna be a lot more thankful. And then they have a refundable security deposit, uh, which is a four hundred dollar minimum. And um, now that's essentially again to ensure that you pay for the vehicle that you bid on. And if you don't, essentially this amount goes towards them having to relist the vehicle and you know potentially get a lower amount back. So that's I guess their insurance policy. And then on every vehicle they charge um, two hundred and or sorry they charge fifty dollars as a transaction fee for you know that's what Copart actually charges um, to process the title and everything for the broker. So essentially per vehicle you're gonna be paying two hundred and fifty dollars to the you know towards the brokerage. And then on top of that, you're going to be paying copart fees, which, you know, really do add up. So they have kind of an entire table listed, you know, and you can really see, you know, what you're going to be paying in fees. Um, and that's something to always keep in mind with your bid. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is, you know, buying specific type of vehicles that uh, aren't really haven't been listed, you know, so they're not clean title, they're not salvage title. A lot of times you'll see, you know, vehicles that are listed as dealer only or you know they have a certificate of destruction and a lot of times you won't be able to buy that as a private party and even if you have a brokerage account you won't be able to buy you know those type of vehicles so i'm just kind of you know you know try to show you an example um you know if i pull up a uh, non-repairable title vehicle um you know just looking at this 2018 c300 for example so it has a certificate of destruction as a document type and now you won't be able to bid, you know, directly on this vehicle nine times out of 10 because um, the insurance company has pretty much deemed that no matter what will happen, you know, no matter what type of repairs happen to this vehicle, it won't be, you know, structurally sound or it won't be safe to be on the road, you know, any longer. And a lot of times, let's say, you know, you, buy, you need to buy a vehicle just to be able to get it for parts. And, you know, so you can have a valid reason as a private party to buy this vehicle, but, you know, a lot of brokerages and copart, you know, won't let you buy it as a personal buyer. And that's, you know, kind of where Advanced Motors comes in, you know, handy, at least for me as well, where, um, you know, since it's a small business, you can go ahead and, you know, for example, dial the phone number and you can reach, you know, Roman or um, Max, for example, they're really helpful. And what they'll do is they have essentially the master account and they can put in the bid. So, you know, a lot of times you can call in on the phone and, you know, stay on the phone with them through the live auction and they'll go ahead and bid on whatever vehicle that you need. You know, let's say if you're not eligible to purchase it on your own, they'll go ahead and, you know, put in the bid that you want to and, you know, stay on the phone to let you know if you if you won the vehicle or not. And so that's actually one of the benefits to dealing with a broker and dealing with a broker, you know, that's of a smaller size at least. And that's, you know, outside of the, f the fee savings that you're going to be getting. But other than that, that's all to it. Um, buying from Copart can really be intimidating, but you know if you kind of just go through and, and see, you know, essentially understand the laws in your area, and Copart does a really good you know job of easily laying out the laws in your area. So if you can kind of go ahead and really look through that and determine if you need a broker for the type of vehicle you want, it's really not as intimidating as it seems. 